Ugh, remind me to make sure the guys do a thorough sound and light check. And there's a hole in the wall of the coat check room, which needs patching, so I gotta tell Pete. Okay, I already talked to him, so you're finished here. Go home. We're not finished. We open tomorrow night. Yes, and we've got all day tomorrow to take care of this stuff, but right now you gotta go make nice with Dante. Dante and I had a fight. Big deal. We'll survive. I'm sure you will, but I really don't want the guy to hate me. Any more than he already does. I'm serious. Are you... Do you know how many times I have had to sit at home because Dante was late working, or I've had to cancel plans because Dante was working? I'm working. So what, this is payback? No, I am invested in this, just like Dante's invested in his work. I'm proud of what we're doing, Johnny, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make the Haunted Star a success. I'm with you. Really? Because it doesn't yeah. feel like it. Lulu, after I caused that whole riff with... with... Sonny and Kate and that whole thing, I really don't want to cause trouble with you Are you seriously making that a comparison right now? Why not? For one thing, I'm not going to sleep with you like <laughs> Kate or Connie did. Mm. Hey. Uh, the guest list is almost finished. Full house? Except for one, we can erase my dad. Right. He won't be here now with an APB out on him. He didn't kill Anthony. Because he says so? Because he didn't. So that's it, huh? When you believe in someone, no backing down? Yep. It doesn't bother you or make you think twice that he skipped town? Yes, of course it bothers me. The last time that I saw my dad, he was on this boat. He was making plans. He was ready to start a new life. He had called Tracy and said he wanted to see her. He was so focused on that that he forgot to lock up. Or he didn't bother to lock up because he was in such a hurry. Lulu, for all of Luke's determination, he never made it to the quartermates. He never saw Tracy. He never saw anybody that we know of. Except... What? Except maybe Heather Weber. Saw Heather Weber. That's what I'd like to know. I came in here and she was standing at the bar like it was the most normal thing in the world. But you said your dad forgot to lock up. Yeah, but that makes it okay for her to just walk into a place that doesn't belong to her? Oh, I guess it depends on what she said she was doing here. She said she wanted to see my dad to let him know that she had a job as a journalist. <laughs> Seriously? What's so unbelievable about that? I don't know. I told her that my dad wasn't here. And she acted like she didn't want to leave. And she acted like she didn't know where the exit was. I don't know. She was just acting odd. And that's different from any other time. How? The last place that I saw my father was on the Haunted Star, and the last person I saw here was Heather Weber. Well, what do you say? Maybe Heather knows where my father is. Heather, she likes me, right? In a stalker kind of way. <laughs> so, okay, if she knew that Luke took off and where to... She wouldn't tell anyone. Not if he doesn't want to be found. That's probably a dead end, but it can't hurt to bring it up to Anna. Great. Stupid Slim. Now she's going to be even more suspicious than she is now. Why can't everybody just leave me alone? What are you doing? Oh. We're finished here. No arguments this time. Are you going home too? Not just yet. You're exhausted. I am, but one of us has to get sleep, and I'm naming you designated sleeper. But I can get coffee, and I'm very productive at night when I have coffee. Good night. You don't even Lulu, know. Lulu, good night. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Fine. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. What brings you two here? Club's not open yet. I can't. Think of any other reason you'd want to see me. You sure about that? Look, Sonny, I'm all about mutual coexistence. The reality is you and I are never going to like each other, so I think the further apart we stay from each other, the better. I have questions, Johnny. And if you are the changed man that you claim you are, you will answer them honestly so this can all be over. When I was being held for attacking Dr. Keenan, you came to see me in the interrogation room. Is that right? That's right. I remember that vaguely. It was after I saw Sonny at Kelly's, and I tried to explain to you how I tried to smooth things over. And then what happened? What do you mean? 
Johnny, I'm begging you, please. Be straight with me right now. Did Connie come out at the station? It's hard to tell sometimes. She's not an answer, Johnny. She did, didn't she? Johnny, is that why I can't remember the rest of the conversation? Yeah, all right, Connie made an appearance. Which she never does without an agenda. So tell me now, what did she want from you? You know Connie? Not as well as you do, Johnny. Connie sought you out. You probably talked to her about who knows what, made deals or whatever you did, I don't know. Sonny, but... Connie's main goal was to get Kate away from you. Okay. And I gotta admit, at the time, I sympathized. Because let's be honest, you're a dangerous guy to be around. Right? You're, you're seriously not gonna defend what you did. I'm not, not at all. I was wrong and I admitted to that, which meant Connie was done with me. She had no reason to confide no, in me. No, but she must have told you something that day. Come on, Mr. Nice Guy, let's have it. Fine. But you're not gonna like it. About the agenda thing, when Connie would feel threatened, that's when she would come to me and she would act out. So I guess when I told her that I defended you to Sonny, she was worried that Sonny was gonna forgive you. All right, that makes sense, but it doesn't explain why I can't remember the rest of the conversation, Johnny. It's as, as if Connie is hiding something from me. She doesn't want me to know. Are you sure that any of this even matters? I mean, haven't the charges been dropped against Because her? I cannot become fully well until I remember everything. Enough with the run around. What happened, Johnny? Fine. Connie grabbed me and kissed me. I pushed you away. I can see it now. I never told you because I didn't want to make any trouble. I'm done with that. For you and, and for myself. That's it? That's it. We do have a lot of work to do before the opening tomorrow. Which you're both invited to, by the way. Yeah. We'll, we'll pass we'll on pass. that. Yeah. So we're cool? Yeah, we'll see. What do you think? You buy that? I guess I have to. Let's get out of here. <laughs>